It's no surprise that Sony has been working on Horizon Forbidden West for some time. And after some delays, seems like we are starting to narrow in on the release, right? We kind of all knew a collector's edition would be coming out at some point. What we didn't know was that they're ready for pre-order right now, September 2nd, 2021. Um, they posted on the official PlayStation blog, which I will post a link to in the description below. Pre-order Horizon Forbidden West now. But the point of this video is not Horizon Forbidden West in of itself. I think the game's going to be fascinating. The interesting thing is we have three separate editions to select from, two of which are collector's editions. The first is the Digital Deluxe Edition, which is for all intents and purposes the standard edition of the game at this point. It's going to include a lot of little DLC type things, uh, cosmetic armors, cosmetic weapons, stat points, uh, digital soundtrack, etc. This is pretty standard for most PlayStation games now that they do release some sort of digital collector edition, which includes in-game goodies. But you know me, I am a collector and I want to collect things that I can hold in my hand. And here we are looking at not one, but two very, very expensive collector editions. The first is the Horizon Forbidden West collector edition. Very, very uh, create, creatively named, which includes quite a bit of stuff. And we're gonna look at both this and the next collector edition. Then we're gonna look at the prices, which you probably already saw in the title of the video, but wow. Uh, first and foremost is the collector's edition. It is going to come with the game and a steel book. It's also going to include a mini art book, and it's also going to include a statue of one of the monsters you're going to expect to fight, and then a little bitty tiny Aloy statue for scale. Actually, I should have made that bigger to start with. Sorry about that. Little tiny Aloy statue right here, which is going to go up against this giant monster. And it does also include all of the digital goodies that were available from the digital collector edition. Uh, as well. So the soundtrack, the art book, the um, cosmetic items and all that stuff. Nothing unique to this particular edition, okay? But if you want it all and you got to have it all, they've got an even super fancier edition known as the Regala edition, which includes the same um, steel book, um, the figurine of um, Aloy. However, the statue has a ton more stuff on the back. So if I switch between the two, here's the first kind of the basic statue. Looks kind of like an elephant, right? Uh, you can see the trunk and all the different like hooves and you know different pieces of metal sticking out. But if you go with the super edition, it's like a fort is built on the back of this thing. And you now have like a dude standing there and you have all these gr grass and like a little hut and flags. So it's much more detailed, a lot more stuff going on. You also get uh, some art cards, which looks to be a picture of a leaf and a picture of kind of Aloy looking stoically into the, uh, into the wild there. You're also going to get some additional little figurines here of a, a claw strider and a sun wing, which look to be about the same height as um, the Aloy figurine. You're also going to get the focus, which is the little chip that she keeps on her ear, which allows her to do all the cool cybernetic stuff, which kind of ties into the first story quite a bit. But you're going to get a focus uh, replica and then a little wooden stand that you can set it on. Although I don't think she ever took it off in the game, but you're going to have a little display of it. Um, you're also going to get a, an art book, a physical art book, as well as a canvas map of the world. So more, you know, you're getting the basic edition here and then you're getting the super, super edition here. Now, here is where it gets interesting. Um, did I miss anything? I'm just scanning through the official contents. Um, I want to point out, however, in both of these editions, something that I am, before we get into the price, I'm not happy about. And that is that in both editions, it is going to come with a downloadable code, as in you're not getting the physical disc. If you're going to spend the amount of money that I'm going to show you in a second, rivaling the price of a new console in some, in some instances, for a collector edition of a game, 
you really need to give the person the disc. That doesn't make sense to me. The whole point of a collector's edition is that it is an encapsulated in time edition of the game, which should include everything you need from decorative art or soundtracks or art books, any statues, figurines, displays, and the game. It all goes together in a kit. That's what the collector's edition really was founded on, was that creed of in case games are stopped produced tomorrow or the PlayStation company folds or you don't have internet, whatever, this is everything you need in order to really embrace a game concept. This is incredibly frustrating to me. I am not a fan of that. Um, I think I covered everything. All right, let's jump over now to the price. Hooey! You want to get everything? Well, it's going to cost you. If you want the collector's edition, which includes the more basic statue, that's going to run you $200 US. And let me just jump back very quickly, wrong one, to show you guys what $200 US gets you. They think a lot of themselves. Now, I don't know the exact uh, specifications of the statue. I did scroll around trying to find dimensions. I was unable to do so. If we assume everything is to scale and this is a standard steel book case, you're probably looking at a no taller than I'd say 11 inch statue based on the width, I would guess also 11 inches. So it's meaty. It's definitely got more depth to it than a lot of other statues like the Uncharted uh, Libertaria edition statue. If you remember that one of Nathan Drake, it's really tall, but it's incredibly thin. So this is gonna be a meaty piece. You're gonna have a lot of width and depth and height to it, which I, I'm not trying to justify this cost, but I feel like maybe that's where they were thinking, hey, it's, it's a meteor statue. Not meteor, like a meteor falling from the sky, like a meteor statue. Sorry for my slang. Over here, if you wanna get the Regala edition, it's gonna run you $260 US. So for 60 more dollars, you are gonna get the same elephant figure, but clearly if I click back and forth, you could see it has more war paint on it and more moss and the little dude on top and the base looks identical, the pose looks identical. It looks just like a statue on steroids. You're gonna get that, which I assume is a little bit taller in height too. Like I assume there's some additional ground clearance here that you would not have gotten before. Plus you're gonna get all of the other little pieces there. Um, so if you're interested, this is currently available right now uh, directly from the official direct.playstation.com website. Um, if you want to wait till later, they did say in the blog somewhere, I thought I saw, there is a, uh, a pre-order frequently asked questions, I think it might have been covered here, that you can actually go ahead and pick it up. It will be available from other vendors, uh, region specific of course. So I suspect that um, you're gonna be able to um, get this at Amazon or Best Buy or some of the other places um, in here. I mean, they spell it right out here about the code. I was talking about the code. I'm not happy about this. So if you wanna, wanna start and play on PlayStation 5, this is possible. That's good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, this is, this is an interesting take by Sony. Um, we're starting to see what I would call the upper tier of a premium collector's edition. Uh, we're getting very, very expensive now. When you're getting north of $200 for a single game experience, um, you are getting into a very high price point. Particularly when you think of what a new Nintendo Switch costs, an Xbox Series S, what that's going to run you. When you think about some of the other games coming out, the question is Horizon itself. Is it worth your money? Is it worth that kind of investment? Um, this is clearly Sony's tentpole franchise now that Uncharted is gone. I guess you could argue God of War would be in that classification as well. Makes you wonder now for future collector editions, are we going to start to see a dual layer collector edition? Are you gonna have a standard collector edition and then a super duper collector edition on top of it? Um, as cool as this is and as much as I want it, part of me says, I don't know. 
Knowing my wife, on the other hand, we probably already have it on pre-order because this is her favorite game. Um, either way, links to everything, the official PlayStation blog, the store page, the breakdowns, everything I showed you guys will be in the description below. Don't take my word for it. Go read about it and think about it for yourself. Leave a comment below and let me know, is this something you are interested in? With that, I'm closing out this video. Thanks again for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.